At just under 34 feet long, 7,100 pounds dry, this six sleeping mid-level beauty is one that if you like to rear entertain, let me tell you, this one's got an entertainment space in the rear you're absolutely gonna love. Welcome to the Crossroads Zinger 299RE. Welcome to Chris's Playhouse. Actually, uh, we do need some Dub D40 to put on that hinge, but I thought, what a better way to show you some of the hidden storage inside this hidden gem of a rear entertaining RV. What's up, it's Chris Young, standing in the Crossroad Zinger 299 RE. I said 34 feet on the front end, it's 33 feet, 11 inches. So grant me an inch if you would, please. 7,100 pounds dry, but this one is packed full of features that for a mid-level RV, I think you're really going to find suits the lifestyle, especially if you're looking to upgrade and you need some more space. Now, this one will sleep six, uh, but to be honest, I would say for the active couple that just needs space or want some enjoyable uh, vacation home style of RV, it's a good option. This is your pantry. And it is behind the entertainment center, which we're going to get to here in just a minute. But look at all the space that you have here for dry goods, canned goods, whatever you want to put in here, cooking utensils, the whole nine, plates, towels, cups. Or if you want to use this as a hunting or a fishing cabin, look at all the space you have right here. You got the motion sensing light right here and our 81 inch high ceilings inside this 299 RE. And it is a hideaway kind of entertainment center, really maximizing the space. You get the big... Bob and I were arguing over this. I say it's 50 inches. We say it might be 39 inches. Once again, my measurements might be off. It's a big TV on a swivel. Plus you have the barn style decor, which this is the coastal theme uh, de decor that they have inside the 299 RE. You're going to get a lot of darker accents on lighter uh, backgrounds, but I like how they added a little bit of the darker wood like you see right here. Still beveled. You got the brushed nickel fixtures all the way around. Frosted glass inlays right here. Store some components, some DVDs, CDs, whatever you want to put in there. Since the TV is on a swivel and a pull-out arm, you'll see I got my 110 power connection here. My cable connection is actually inside the storage there, but you got the little hole. You got the built-in sound bar and you got the Furion little backlit fireplace right there. I love that because you're looking at multi-flame settings, multi-light options, and with the inlay of the wood there, it really adds to the aesthetic. Plus it's electric and it has a blower. So it'll do a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Now with this one, what Crossroads has done with some of their larger units, and they've been doing it since 66 too, um, you have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner inside this unit with the quick cool, the Coleman Mach right there. This is a 50 amp service RV, so you are preset for a second AC if you want to put one in. But let me check out this back right here. Work with me on this one. You pull up to the beach, you could see the ocean right here at the rear panoramic window with the solid wood balance. You're going to have those all the way around or prep space for a coffee station. Maybe you want to plug in a little light. Maybe you want to put a decorative plant right here. Whatever you want to do. This is that entertainment aspect of the RE. More storage up top right here. Love the space and style and comfort that Crossroads has kind of come to be known for. But my favorite part little mini fridge back here or wine fridge. How cool is that? You want to do some entertaining, you pull up to the campground, you know the kids might be coming with you or the grandkids, or you're just going to go see all the family members you didn't get a chance to see during all the outbreaks. Boom. Stack it with the wine, stack it with the PBRs, stack it with the bourbon, stack it with the water, stack it with the Dasani, but with the sparkling, with the Perrier, whatever. That is your ever chill mini fridge right there. We could sip and talk about today's activities here my Crossroads Zynga 299 RE. Love that. More storage on the side. That's also a good grab and go spot, uh, which I'm big on because I like to have my backpack with me. Uh, if you like to have water bags, Kabu bags, whatever, it's a good spot to store it. Solid wood here in the slide. The slides are about 5'9 in height, so you got to watch that for your head when you're coming up out of the U-shaped dinette and the jackknife sofa here, but I like the wood inlay over my U-shaped dinette with the mushroom lights. I like the little motion sensing slash powered lights here. 
large panoramic windows, dual USB charging port, and a jackknife sofa that is comfortable and plush. I really like the use of this microfiber that they're doing now. The other thing, I like how they're making the armrests removable. Um, most jackknife sofas you see, especially in the entry or the mid-grade level RVs, they, they come in and the armrests are built in. They're not comfortable. This, you can take out. The kids can use it as a pillow if you want to. It's still sturdy and comfortable. And when you're ready for that sleep, jackknife out. I'm 6'2", but you can see right here, it's even got a spot for my arm. And this is how I sleep. I like this because you get a little bit of neck support on them as well. And they're pretty comfortable. Now you're camping, sure. It's not probably not the ideal pillow, but it is useful. It serves multiple functions. I like that. We got slipless or, uh, car, or easy to clean, slip resistant flooring here, that linoleum that's all one piece going throughout the living area here. Walk over to my kitchen side. I like the L-shaped kitchen here on the camp side. We got the 12 volt fridge that is 10 cubic feet. It's frost resistant. Uh, it's also vibration smart. I really like that. You got the solid pressed surface countertop here. Excuse me, pressed countertop, not solid surface. Uh, I like this too, because it does a good job of mixing the light on dark, but with it being a pressed countertop, we do get the undermounted stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet and a sprayer. You usually don't get sprayers in the entry level style RVs, but once again, this is more of a mid-level with some of the upgraded features that they have. Solid wood construction all the way around, full extension on the ball bearings. You're gonna see that with all the drawers that we have here. More storage underneath the sink, plenty of countertop space. Come over to my cooking area. I got the glass cover, extended my prep space over the grill style grates of my three burner cooktop. Got the little LED light, does a good job of giving you some background light too at night. 16 inch Greystone oven. Got the hood, the high point microwave, the large shelves, cause you know, this is, uh, you know, seven feet. So you got some really good headroom, which means you're gonna have high cabinets and high ceilings, give me a little bit more headroom in the slides as well. But having this, I like that, cause that is good space. Good storage, good entertainment room, good sleeping room. But it's also 33 feet, 11 inches. So it's, it's a big boy RV. If you're looking for something that size, you need that space. Gotta tell you, this is it. Got the table on the swivel arm here. And this uh, U-shaped dinette, I'm also a fan of because uh, the booth dinettes are great, uh, but having the U-shaped dinette, I'm able to get more people in here and really do the reconnecting. This is where you enjoy that camp cooked meal, playing the cards, the board games, just reconnecting with the loved ones. You're disconnected, you're sitting here, you're viewing things that you've been wanting to see forever, whether it be the lake, the mountains, the beach, grandma's house, you know, a resort, casino, a swimming pool, or maybe it's just a dirt pile. You've gotten out of the house and you're out and enjoying everybody's company. This reduces down into a sleeper, extremely comfortable. And you got the side opening storage down here. I like that because it's not like some just pull out drawer. Really good grab and go spot too. So this is actually where I put my backpack. You can see if you want to kind of get a judge of the space clearance in there. That's a full size traveler backpack. Come around to the entry point. The slide right here comes in and you'll notice that the entry door is close to the bathroom. So this one is turtle friendly if you need to access the bathroom while you're in transit. Uh, the fridge, you'd probably have to climb over the sink for that. But hey, nothing like some parkour while you're traveling. Here's my little convenience center, giving me my battery, my fresh and my tanks, my lights, my water heater. You do have a six gallon bypass on this one as well, the DSI. So if you want water that's hot before your shower, those are nice to have, you have that here. I'll tell you more about the tank sizes once we get outside too. Porcelain bowl, which is high profile, sturdy, foot flush on it, plenty of leg room. I got the barn door to give me some privacy. Large counter here with a single basin for my sink, some storage space underneath. And here's another good example of that light on the dark decor with a little bit of the darker wood. This coastal decor actually looks really good. Don't know if it's coming across, uh, you know, on your screens, but this is actually a really pleasant looking combination. I like what 
Crossroads did here. Mirrored medicine cabinet, no raised lips, not a fan of that because when you pull up to the campsite, if you got your medicine bottles or whatever in here, your, you know, your Listerine, you know, your whatever, you open this up, chances are it's probably gonna fall out on you. So just watch out there. GFCI outlet here, single surround herringbone patterned shower. This is one of the 36 inches. I, I, I like these because you do have good space Adding the vent and the fan in here gives me some additional headroom, but I don't even really need it because at six foot two, I'm okay right here. Do a pretty good job, but not cramped. I got my shower nozzle there. Good space. Got my shower curtain right here. Last but not least on the inside, let's check out the queen size bed in the master. Good space on the sides for your nightstands. You got dual USB charging on the campsite, 110s on both other sides. Got the double uh, lights too. If I want to do some reading while my wife sleeps, I can cut that off, cut mine on. Mirrored ward storage on both sides as well. Got some strut supported storage underneath the bed. I like that. That's a, that's a nice little touch. Usually you don't see that. Um, and having that's a very nice feature because you're not having to hold with one arm and load in. So that's nice. Barn door separating my other closet over here. And Bob, I'm going to step out the way so you can see this. You got washer dryer prepped. Yep, yep, yep. Another nice feature that you don't see in a lot of the aluminum sided RVs. I mean, this is a entry level, mid grade level RV. I, I know that's confusing, but with the price the way it is, it's pretty good value. It's pretty good value. I give this one two thumbs up. Wish I had more hands. I'd give it four thumbs up. Double one tens there so you can keep your washer and dryer on separate connections. Balances over my windows, cross breeze. My TV mounting brackets right here. I'd say, I don't like that either. I'm not a fan of putting the TV across the bed because then when you're laying, you got to do this to watch. You know, or you, that's, to me, I just don't like it. Some people do. I don't. But that is like one of the only negatives. All the other positives, the construction, the wiring, the insulation, um, this one does a good job of giving you style, comfort, and features in a price range that I think is really palatable for, for most people. So we've seen the inside of the Crossroad Zinger 299RE. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the 2021 Crossroad Zinger 299RE. Going to start right up front with that two-piece aerodynamic roof. The profile right there that you see really looks good. Vacuum bonded up top. Diamond plated rock guard. You got that single welded frame too, really giving you some good support underneath this RV. If you want to trickle charge the battery, there is your 10 amp quick connect for your solar panels. I like having that option because it does keep you going a little bit longer. Dual 20 pound propane tanks, powered tongue jack with the LED light. And once again, for what they call, you know, the entry level or kind of mid-level RVs, that is a nice to have. Aluminum siding here, graphics look good. And check out my storage. Not only is it finished off, look at the space that we have inside of here. Now, sure, this RV is 33 feet, 11 inches long, 7,100 pounds dry, but still the space that we had inside, especially with that hidden pantry, this is good storage space. Heated and enclosed underbelly on this one as well. Plus we got our power stabilizer jacks right there. Now, I had mentioned on the inside, I would tell you about the tanks. This one has some pretty big tanks. You got a 51 gallon fresh tank, 39 gallon uh, black tank, and uh, 70, what was it, 51, 39, 78, 78 gallon uh, gray tank. So good stability there for when you wanna stay gone for those long weekend getaways. Nice large awning with the LED light strip there. My dual zone speakers, solid steps leading into the master. Love how we have, or excuse me, leading into the living room here. Love how we have the extra large step up top with the grip tape. That not only is for additional security, it's also pet friendly. Extra large grab handle, double axle on these with those aluminum rims, those Dexter Easy Lube axles. Got my outside power cable connection right here. Black tank flush and fresh water fill right here. Now, with this one being a rear entertaining, usually I see the outside kitchen in bunk houses. I like how they added this one. You got the two burner flame king right here, the little prep sink, prep area, and the hot point fridge, which is taped closed right now. I'm a fan of these because when I want my outdoor bourbon, three finger pour, you gotta have it 
right there. So being able to keep it close by and cold is another nice feature. Now, Chris, I like the two burner, but I want to bring my own grill. No problem. Got your LP quick connect right there. Rear stabilizer jack there as well. Four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back, external shower with hot and cold. And here's your city water connection on the rear. Plus you got backup camera set up on this one. Those arch ceilings with those seven feet high ceilings inside of there. There we see the arch really helping us keep that rain and that snow off the top of this one. The nozzles will help make sure that uh, it doesn't stay on the slide or on you or your friends. Cable connection for the external is right here as well. There's your cable and your satellite. Plus you got sealed safety glass all the way around. There's our 50 amp connection right here. I mentioned this is set up with 50 amps so you could put in another AC if you wanted to. Main terminations right there underneath the off camp side. And black tank and gray tank are right here. Sewer outlet connection, boom, right there. Other side of the pass-through storage here. But the most important part of any RV is going to be this right here, the info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, unloaded, we're looking at 7,000 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, we're still under 10,000 at 9,710. But you take that information to your specialist at Camping World or at Gander, and you say, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this what's right for me? But if you're looking for something 76, you know, 7,000 pounds dry, 33 feet, 11 inches long, can sleep six people with that rear entertainment floor plan that's laid out like that. I gotta tell you, this would make a really good vacation home for somebody that's looking to upgrade from their first camper. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about this Crossroads Zinger 299RE and what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me on this beautiful day. I hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. Until then, come check out a camper, man. They are fun. I'll see you soon.